That's the worst street. <laughs> and and for right. the purposes, you can look at it physically and say, yeah, you agree. Mm -hmm. But what they but but they don't understand that given some of the federal money or some of the state money, depending on what fund comes in, they tell you you can only fix certain roads because certain roads are like this is a federal street. This is controlled by mm. so okay. so not to get too far off into it, right, but, right, right. but so this money is federal, if you will. So you can only fix these particular roads because this is that, or this is city or, or, or state, uh, right? Okay. right? So this is state money, so you can fix a road that's that's in that, in that state, in that know, region, for, for for whatever list they have or whatever the state. Okay. okay. So you tell the person that, just like you, you say, okay, cool, but that's not necessarily the first thing you think to do as somebody on the city council or whatever. That doesn't necessarily come natural. That's a culture or a process that you have to put in and you have to develop because it's easier to lose the trust than it is to gain it. But if you're transparent and people see you working in that sense, then they'll tend to trust you. So for myself, it's pretty easy because I've been this person my whole life. So it's not this person who's come up and out of nowhere and I'm saying vote for me. These people have raised me. They know my mother, they know my integrity. Right. So in that, I can call them and I say, hey, I'm, I'm going to feed the homeless and I'm taking donations. They never question me, say, Darius, I need a receipt. They never see Darius, I need to see what you're doing with the money. I get literally no questions and I appreciate that mm -hmm. because they trust my integrity and how I carry myself. Right. I can't ask them to do that once I've shown myself poor. Right. They, they need to see me every walk, every, yeah, every day walk a lot. Trust. So I'm in the community. So when they have community cleanups, guess, yep, yep, guess yep. who I'm here with a rake? I am picking up trash. I am when you cut the grass. I am right. when it's time to volunteer. Who volunteering? I am. I'm, so as an elected official, that's part of the job for me. It ain't just to be visible for the photo ops. You got if you can't be a person, you can't want to be of the people and not be around the people. I'm in the projects. We doing voters stuff. I'm in the projects. These are my people, man. But that is that right? That's beautiful because you don't see that. And in, 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 in today's, how they say, day and age, sure. you see, yeah, vote for me. I do this. We'll get this done for you. Y'all hear it. Y'all hear it every day. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll have the schools open. The yep. kids will be safer, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as they get in the office, it's like, where the money goes? Well, to all this money that we had, you know, where... Where is the connecting with the community came? You know, when the election was there, we couldn't see you enough. You got tired of seeing you. See, all day. <laughs> right. Now, when you elected, you disappeared. You and your oh, I'm in the office. I understand, and we all understand that. Once you get in that position, you gotta tackle it head on. You gotta understand sure. the ropes. You gotta know sure. who your team is. If you gotta rebuild your team, like you right. said, you know that trust. You gotta get the trust. So. In all the positions, should I say, and levels that you are, are that you are at, do, are you comfortable? Are you happy about the decisions of of your actions of you know going to something like this? This is a big door. A lot of people look at a door like this like, all right, but it, sit down. Uh, these people got masters and PhDs, and they've been on been politicians for 20 plus years, you know, they know the ropes. Yeah. What what can I do that will make a difference in a room full of bosses, room full of... Great question. Uh, be present. I think you've already answered the question. Yeah. You have to be present and of the people. So this is something else too. You, you would think that these people are much more educated than you, but a lot of them aren't. Some of them haven't had an education past high school, mm. but they position themselves accordingly and make the right relationships so that mm. um, 
being a, being in politics or being a community activist or anybody in that in, in that space, it's not required that you have a a, a PhD or a master's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you have to do though, you have to be present, and, and you have to be seen, um, and you have to be willing to. Uh, roll up your sleeves and, and get dirty. That's what people. So respect. that's when the rate comes in. Uh, Correct. Okay. Because if I if I'm sitting here in the suit and I'm just I'm dictating policy, then optically, mm -hmm. you see me as or mentally you see me as just another suit. He's coming here. He's the boss, and, and he's trying to tell us what to do. But that's a whole total different connotation than as a servant leader. I'm out there and I'm raking the yard for you. See, for me, it's easy because guess what? This intimidates a lot of people. Yeah, it right? does. But when I got on jeans and a t-shirt and I got that rake, see, everybody cleaned up their yard on a Saturday for the most part, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I can just hold court and I can talk to you while we raking. Yeah. I don't even got to schedule a meeting now. You know, everything that I'm about, you saw me as a real person and you see all right. me all the time here. They come up to me and say, I see you all the time here now. I saw you on Facebook. What exactly are you and what it is that you do? Oh, and I'm off and running. Because now, mm. for this hour or two, when we clean up the park, you already put you, down what you do. Oh, okay, that's smooth. But see, right. and that's the thing, though. So I don't have, I don't, I don't have money for a commercial. I mean, I can get it, but I, I don't spend money on commercials <laughs> or, or that space because that's not what it's about. People need to see you, and so these people here in our community, they know me, they know my face. So that's not hard for me to do, and, and then they expect it. And so, as my mother would say. To whom much is given, much is required. So I understand the space that I am, and you're right, man. Sometimes it gets heavy and it gets, uh, it gets yeah. tough. Yeah. But what I remember is, uh, what I remember is what I'm there for. So it's it's my I want my legacy to be that when I'm 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 gone and, and, and I'm I'm in another space that when they look back and they say he advanced the culture, not just for my sons. My sons gonna be good because I see them. All the time mm -hmm. but what did you do to impact the culture what barriers did you remove who did you help what are they doing now so you think about a tree and you see those branches that's how I view myself so everything that I've been given I'm that trunk mm -hmm. trees or branches grow off of me and that's my legacy so a tree might a branch might fall off of me and fall to the ground and it makes its own tree that's that cycle, that life cycle in nature. That's how it's supposed to be. So I've had my run. I've, I've had a, a successful, if you will, NBA career. Right? <laughs> I done did it. Yeah. Right. Twenty. I've done it. Yeah. So my time is over. So your time is now. So now let me be ahead of the game and switch my platform. I still want to be a leader. I still want to help. But my time on the court is over. How can I help Mel? Hmm. Let me let me become an executive. So when Mel's coming through and he needs to get drafted, I'm in a position to draft him. You see what I'm saying? Right. I'm still helping. It's still the same mission, but you have to change your perspective on how you help because everybody might not be able to go out and rake the yards. They might not be physically capable. Um, they might not necessarily be able to always be at the meetings, but however you can help, help. And that's the problem. We say, well, I can't do this and I can't do that. Understood. What can mm -hmm. you do? Right. That's can. Mm -hmm. And just do that. That's all a person can expect from you. Just do that. So right. for me, I, I can do a multitude of things. So I'm going to push the pedal to the metal. So again, I knock down as many barriers as I can. So then when it's your turn to drive, you just drive. Now you pick which land you want to be in, but I hope to pave the road so you don't mess up your car or your life <laughs> as you drive it. You see what I'm saying? Oh, man. That's beautiful. That's my man. goal, man. That's beautiful. That's my goal. I don't want you to get to the end and you were so... Think about our leaders, man, that have made it, that didn't get assassinated or whatever. They were so tired once they got the old. Fight. The fight. Come yeah. on. Still fighting the fight. I couldn't even... You can't even enjoy it because you're so beat down and so scarred and jaded. I don't want that for y'all, man. I want y'all to be able to get to that spot and enjoy it, to look back and say it, to, to, to get your flowers and to have your, your award ceremony for 25 years in journalism and you sit back and you can you have fine stories. Not the stories of that you, everything was a struggle, you cried at night, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's beat down, that's sad. That, that builds character, <laughs> but don't get me wrong. Go. <laughs> I want y'all to be like, hey, 
we had a blast. This is just, man, what, two years? Where this go? Yeah. You know, that's the goal, man. You know, that's beautiful, man. Thank you for yeah. taking the time out, you know, and sitting down with me, enjoying a nice, beautiful drink and a beautiful day. Absolutely. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. I'll read your comments uh, after, you know, we sit down and finish our King's Table session. But today, I want y'all to take away this one lesson, and that is do not make excuses for something that you have not done yet. Uh, strive for it. Like Darius said, you, you got to put your all into it. You got to show that you want it. And that is what this platform is based on. It's not about clout, not about the luxury, the flash, and nothing like that. It's what you stand for as an individual. And also, I want to give a shout out to uh, my photographer and my video uh, personnel. They're out right now, coronavirus, but we got to represent them all in the same. And of course, thank you, my people, for tuning in on Unapologetic Number One Podcast. It will be more soon to come. Trust me, we ain't done yet. We have so many people that we want to get on the platform. And don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And the link's below on the channel, Unapologetic Hashtag Number One Podcast on YouTube. It will be there too. And as well, got to give a shout out to Miss Virginia Calher one more time for letting us come into this beautiful dime. But don't forget on the weekends, the hideout. We'll be hosting uh, parties, poetry, drinks, fun, family, food. right here. Love the food. Yeah. Right here on Broad yeah. <laughs> right here in the Heights and Broadway, man. Make sure y'all come and enjoy yourselves, bring your family and friends. But thank you. Thank you, B. Appreciate Listen, Appreciate you. In closing, can I can I say one thing? Yes. Sorry. All right. All right. Um, so out of everything I said. Mm -hmm. All right, we talked. We talked. I'm heavy on processes, yeah. right? So it wouldn't be right if I didn't give some kind of process of how to get to it from where you are to where you're going. Can I? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think this is where we mess up a lot because uh, most of us, God given, uh, we have a talent of vision, right? We know where we want to go. We don't necessarily know how to get there. Every time. So no matter if it's politics, no matter if it's media, journalism, or whatever it is that your goals are, in that, first things first, pray about it. Pray about it that as you start this journey that God allows your mind to see things or discern things to make sure that you are moving in the right direction. Then get a piece of paper and write it down. Hmm. Write down what it is that you want to do that you feel that this is your lane. Next, pray again. Pray that God blesses what you've written down, that it comes to fruition, that it's pleasing in his sight. After that, get you a group of friends or business partners or whoever that are moving in the same direction as you. I can't tell you how many friends or people that I've lost in the process of who I am because I'm not I'm not doing the same stuff anymore. Right. So I'm different or I'm funny acting, right. right? But I'm trying to tell you, God is going to put the people in your space that are going to help you get to where you need to. So even though I've lost some, I've gained more. So don't be afraid to leave people behind because everybody's not supposed to take the trip on the train with you. Yeah, you got to be okay. <laughs> So once you, yeah. once you get you people that are like-minded, don't just get people that are there that y'all are cool. Get people that are strong in the places that you aren't at that time. So if you, like for me, I'm a visionary. So I struggled at first with writing down the plan because I shot from the hip. So I needed people in my space that helped me understand that, oh, that's good, D, but we got to write this stuff down, man. <laughs> we got to have a process. That's a lot, yeah. yeah. So get people, surround yourself with people that are strong when you are weak, so then you can glean from them and you can and they can glean from you. Once you get that, delegate. You can't do everything by yourself. So delegate some of those responsibilities to other people and trust them, given the team that you put together, that they'll carry those things out. Trust, but verify. 
Don't just say, hey, you got it, and then a week later, they missed the deadline, and then your project's blown. Check in, trust, but verify. After that, and you got the process together, present it for people to poke holes in it. Because nobody's perfect the first time. So once you give your presentation, get a group of people that have your best interests at heart that are going to take what you give them and say, hey, Mel, great job, but I have some criticisms and some critiques for you. Be personal enough to accept those that they're not saying that it's not good, but you want the best version because the goal is not to be good, it's to be better. The goal is not to be better, then it's to be excellent. You want excellence. I want the best product that I can put out. Right. So once they do that, go back to the drawing board, redo it, giving those people that you trust. Pray again as you get ready to put it out to the world and then find some type of measurable mail that you feel comfortable judging yourself by. So whatever success looks like for you, that's your judgment. So be it views or likes or you get to a, a certain point syndication. Define right. what, what good looks like or success because then that'll allow you to critique yourself so you can always keep moving to that mark. Because exactly. if, you, if, you put your, if you put your goals down here and the goal is just to have a, a podcast and everybody got a podcast. Yeah, yeah. But you want, to, you want excellence. So you have to define what excellent looks like and so you can work towards that. Well, by this time, I want to have this many subscribers, you know, weekly or whatever have you. I want syndication in New York or whatever have you. You define that and make sure that everything that you put in place, again, is feeding to that one base. If anything in your schedule is not going towards you being excellent, it has to go. Because it's going to be counter to what you're doing. I ain't saying it's perfect, but if you do that and you have that plan and that process, uh, nine times out of ten, things are going to go well for you. And if they don't go well, you'll be able to isolate what exactly didn't and change that versus sh scrapping your whole thing or getting frustrated. You can attack that specific part in the link in your chain and fix it and then move forward. But if you don't write it down, you don't you don't have that accountability partner, someone to hold you to that, you don't surround yourself with people that tend to be smarter than you that you can glean from as well, you're probably not going to be as successful as you want because no man can get to that level by himself. But if you allow yourself to be helped, the sky's the limit, my brother. Yeah, that's beautiful. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Man. I digress. <laughs>